Welcome to today's video, we're going to be talking about yellow fever. Yellow fever is a viral disease which is caused by a virus of the Flavivirus genus of the Flaviviridae family. The virus can be transmitted to humans by infected mosquitoes. The reason this viral infection is named yellow fever is because one of the symptoms of it is called jaundice, which is where we have yellowing of the skin and eyes. Other symptoms also include having a headache, fever, muscle pain, nausea, vomiting, and also fatigue. The transmission of yellow fever is more likely to occur in tropical areas of Africa. And if you look at this picture here, this is a map which shows which areas of Africa it is recommended to have a vaccination for yellow fever before entering. And some of those countries include Kenya, Nigeria, Congo and Angola. Transmission is also likely in certain countries of South America. And if you have a look at this map here, some of those countries include Brazil, Peru and Trinidad. So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how exactly yellow fever causes these problems in a human. So what's actually initially happened is we have a mosquito which has gone and sucked the blood out of a infected monkey, non-human primate or even a human. Uh, someone who's infected with this virus and they've gone to someone who isn't infected and tried to suck their blood and as they're doing so they deposit a bit of the virus from the mosquito saliva into the human. And now the virus tends to start replicating and one area where it replicates the most is in the lymph nodes and it particularly targets dendritic cells of the lymph nodes. From there we start to see the liver getting affected and the virus targets hepatocytes of the liver and eventually it starts causing the breakdown of these hepatocytes and we can see this because we start seeing masses formed in the cytoplasm of these hepatocytes and these masses are called councilman bodies and that indicates a dying hepatocyte or a dying liver cell. If the virus and the virus particles tends to override the body's immune system, we start to see fatalities occurring, and this happens due to shock and multiple organ failure. We also see something called a cytokine storm, which is where the body starts to attack its own cells instead of attacking the virus. There isn't necessarily a cure for yellow fever, so prevention and Reducing your exposure to, to infected mo mosquitoes is the biggest priority. Some individuals can rapidly deteriorate when they are affected with yellow fever. So in general, hospital administration is generally advisable to, to help keep an eye on patients and intervene quickly if um, something like this happens. Certain antiviral drugs don't necessarily work with yellow fever. So the main focus when someone is infected with this virus is sufficient hydration and preventing dehydration occurring and pain management. Vaccinations are recommended for those traveling to affected areas because they tend to find that if you're not from that area you're more likely to develop a more severe illness when you are infected. The vaccination is administered and the protection starts about 10 days after the administration of the vaccine in around 95% of people. And it's been reported that the vaccination is reported to last for about 10 years.